Hello everyone, I'm Benedict Nolans, the head of the Hong Kong Center of the BIS Innovation Hub. I hope you're very much enjoying the first day of our inaugural summit with two more interesting days to follow. Please allow me to steal a few minutes of your time to introduce to you the work program of the BIS Innovation Hub. As you may be aware, the BISIH focuses on applied technology research and prototype development across six strategic teams, Subtech and Rectech, Next Generation FMIs, CBDC, Open Finance, Cybersecurity and Green Finance. Within the Hong Kong Center, we are focused on MCBDC Bridge, Retail CBDC, Digitizing Trade Finance and Tokenization of Green Bonds. In the next few days, you will also hear about the project focus areas of the Swiss Center and of the Singapore Center. However, in this material, I will focus on the four projects of the Hong Kong Center. So first of all, we are working on a multiple or MCBDC bridge. This project builds on the experience of Inton on Lion Rock, a project first initiated by the Hong Kong Monetary Authority and the Bank of Thailand. It studies the adoption of distributed ledger technology to facilitate real-time cross-border fund transfers and atomic PVP for FX transactions. We recently welcomed the Central Bank of China and of the UAE to this project. The second project we're working on in the Hong Kong Center is Retail CBDC. This project is an applied technology research project that studies the benefits and challenges of tiered architectures for the distribution of retail CBDC through commercial banks and payment service providers. This project will investigate two architectural models, hybrid CBDC and private CBDC-backed stablecoins. The third project of the Hong Kong Center is focused on tokenization of green bonds. It aims to produce a prototype for the introduction of tokenized green bonds in small denominations, thereby giving greater access to retail investors. The project will also integrate tracking and disclosure of green outputs for investors, thereby showcasing technologies that can be used to reduce greenwashing and to enhance transparency. The fourth project concentrates on digitizing trade finance. This project is a continuation of the tech challenge that we completed in 2020 and which called for trade tech solutions that facilitate connections between digital islands, trade finance inclusion for SMEs and trade tech for emerging market economies. The tech challenge concluded in a series of winners that can be viewed in the showcase. In its current phase, the project deepens down as it continues to study the key pain points and by implication automation opportunities, including in regards to corporate digital identity, credit assessment and APIs. Given the large role of the private sector in trade finance, we truly welcome continued industry engagement on this topic. We are, as you can tell from this slide, a small team. We very much look forward to working with you. Up next will be a video that showcases the MCBDC bridge in more detail. Thank you very much. Interest in CBDCs has grown in response to changes in payments, finance, and technology, as well as the disruption caused by COVID-19. A 2021 Bank for International Settlements survey of central banks found that 86% are actively researching the potential for CBDCs, 60% are experimenting with the technology, and 14% are deploying pilot projects. In simple terms, a central bank digital currency, or CBDC, could be used by individuals to pay businesses, shops, or each other with a retail CBDC, or used between financial institutions to settle trades in financial markets as a wholesale CBDC. Central banks are exploring whether CBDCs could help them to achieve their public good objectives, such as safeguarding public trust in money, maintaining stability, 
and ensuring safe and resilient payment systems and infrastructure. If successful, CBDCs could ensure that as economies go digital, the general public would retain access to the safest form of money, a claim on a central bank. This could promote diversity in payment options, make cross-border payments faster and cheaper, increase financial inclusion, and possibly facilitate fiscal transfers in times of economic crisis, such as during a global pandemic. The Bank for International Settlements Innovation Hub intends to contribute to this area through applied technology research, proofs of concept, and prototypes with central banks around the world. One such project is the Multiple CBDC Bridge. The Multiple, or MCBDC Bridge, is a wholesale central bank digital currency co-creation project involving the BIS Innovation Hub, the Hong Kong Monetary Authority, the Bank of Thailand, the Digital Currency Institute of the People's Bank of China, and the Central Bank of the United Arab Emirates. The project, first initiated by the Hong Kong Monetary Authority and the Bank of Thailand under the name Inthan and Lion Rock, was renamed MCBDC Bridge upon the joining of the BIS Innovation Hub Center in Hong Kong, the Digital Currency Institute of the People's Bank of China, and the Central Bank of the United Arab Emirates, announced in February 2021. Its aim is to propose solutions and concepts to alleviate the current pain points in making cross-border fund transfers. These include inefficiencies, high costs, and complex requirements for regulatory compliance. Leveraging Enterprise Ethereum blockchain technology, the MCBDC Bridge will further explore the capabilities of distributed ledger technologies by developing a POC prototype to support real-time, cross-border, foreign exchange payment versus payment transactions in multiple jurisdictions operating 24-7. It will analyze business use cases in a cross-border context with both domestic and foreign currencies. The participating central banks will take the results of the POC work into account to evaluate the feasibility of the MCBDC Bridge project for cross-border fund transfers, international trade settlement, and capital market transactions in their own jurisdictions. The MCBDC Bridge project fosters a conducive environment for more central banks in Asia, as well as other regions, to jointly study the potential for distributed ledger technology to enhance the financial infrastructure for cross-border payments. MCBDC Bridge is a multi-currency CBDC platform used by central and commercial banks to streamline key financial, economic, and regulatory activities. Using the platform, Central banks can issue CBDCs, which commercial banks can use to perform cross-border payments and fund transfers instantly. Central and commercial banks can also trigger liquidity saving mechanisms to relieve gridlock between network stakeholders, either within a single local jurisdiction or between different jurisdictions with different currencies. And thanks to MCBDC Bridge, central banks can automate key regulatory operations such as monitoring banks' wallets and transactions in real time, setting threshold limits for their currency, and reducing the balance of commercial banks with holdings above the limits. At the same time, commercial banks can provide automated reporting to comply with local regulations. The use of a decentralized network will guarantee that the platform is highly secure and available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. This demo illustrates four key features of the MCBDC Bridge platform the issuance of CBDCs by a central bank, the foreign exchange of two different CBDCs, the transfer of a CBDC between two commercial banks, and the redemption of CBDCs from a commercial bank at the central bank. To start, the Hong Kong Monetary Authority, a central bank, issues 1,000 Hong Kong dollars in CBDCs to a Hong Kong commercial bank, Bank A. Then, the Hong Kong Commercial Bank, Bank A, triggers the platform RFQ mechanism to exchange 500 Hong Kong dollars in CBDCs against 2,000 Thai baht in CBDCs with a Thai Commercial Bank.
Later, the Hong Kong Commercial Bank, Bank A, transfers 2,000 Thai baht in CBDCs to another Thai commercial bank. Finally, any bank can redeem the CBDCs with the central bank. MCBDC Bridge has been designed to allow more central and commercial banks to be onboarded to the platform smoothly, and its design also makes it easy for new features and use cases to be built onto the system. We invite more public and private sector stakeholders to take part in the experimentation offered by the MCBDC Bridge project.